can you trust Mexico dentists to do complicated procedures such as do dental implants? Today, we're going to debunk the top five myths about going to Mexico for dental implants. Dental implants are the number one procedures people go to Mexico for. For one main reason, the, the price difference. The average price of a single tooth dental implant in the United States is $5,000 to $7,000. And those prices can go up, up to $70,000 for uh, full mouth implant procedures such as all on four or fixed hybrid bridge. By going to Mexico, you save about 50 to 70% on the cost. And Mexican dentists know this. That's why almost every dentist in Mexico advertise uh, that they do implants. So let's address some of those uh, myths and apprehensions that you might have about going to Mexico. But here's the caveat. I can only speak for dental tourism dentists in Mexico. Mexico is such a big country. The local dentists in Mexico um, don't receive as many dental implant patients as dental tourism dentists. Um, the dental tourism dentists, which are located in hot spots like Tijuana, Los Algodones, or Cancun, uh, receive 90% of their patients from the United States and, and Canada. And by the way, in my previous video, I discussed uh, in more detail these hot spots where people go to to Mexico for dental work. So regarding the topic of uh, comparison, so yes, I am comparing dental tourism dentist with U.S. dentist. So let's get started. Number one, Mexico dentists don't have the same level of experience and training as U.S. dentists. Implants are unique. You don't need a specialty to place dental implants. So anyone, any dentist can take training and uh, advertise that they do implants. But here's the thing. You can have a dentist take a weekend course, both sides of the border, by the way, and uh, advertise that they do implants, right? You might be the first 10 or 20 cases of that dentist. I wouldn't trust that dentist for um, complex procedures such as uh, all in four or front teeth implants, you know, or other types of full mouth uh, dental implants. In Mexico, some of the best dentists have been placing implants for 10 to 20 years, right? And they might have placed thousands of implants. In the Deo Dental Network, which is I'm a part of, some of our dentists have placed five to 7,000 implants in their career, right? The price difference is not that substantial in Mexico for the cheapest dentist versus some of the best dentists in our network. The United States dentists have an edge when it comes to access to theoretical training. Some of the best training in dental implants in terms of theory are given by some of the top schools and institutions in the United States. Many of the dentists in the Deo Dental Network travel to the United States to get uh, advanced implant theory training. But on the other side, uh, Mexico has great live surgical implant training courses. So you see a lot of US dentists travel south of the border to get live implant surgical training. So what's the bottom line? To avoid issues, avoid bargain hunting for the cheapest price. But you can get on par, if not better, dental implant surgeries and procedures with Mexican dentists uh, if you choose some of the best ones that are the dental tourism dentists. Number two, Mexico dentists use cheap and low quality material. This is pretty much false. The Mexico dentists use order from the same manufacturers as their U.S. counterparts. And the implant industry in Mexico is dominated by the major brands, which are also pretty much the best ones, such as Strauman, Nobel BioCare, or BioHorizon. Uh, the only difference is that Mexico dentists buy these implants at a lower price and the savings are passed on to you. Um, most of the courses in Mexico for uh, implant surgical training 
are provided by these top brands, which is why um, Mexico Dentist ends up using these types of brands. So this is good for you. Of course, some dentists use, you know, cheaper generic brands, which is why when you go to Mexico, uh, ask your dentist what kinds of implant material they use. Number three, language barrier. Almost every dentist that are dental tourism dentists in Mexico speak English, although some speak it better than others. But, you know, it's enough to get by and get your dental procedures done. Those dentists that don't speak English, you know, often they have a translator, care-side translator to help during the procedure, which is one of the important things when you're choosing a dentist in Mexico is to know who is the dentist that's performing the procedure and also find out if they speak uh, English. Number four, they don't have the same infection control standards as U.S. dentists. In theory, both follow the same standards. U.S. dentists maybe have a slight edge, you know, because they do things such as sport, te sport testing to test your equipment. In terms of implementation, it's on a case-to-case -case basis, and that's for both sides of the border. I've walked into U.S. dentist offices that are clearly violating infection control standards and are so cluttery, it makes you wonder how they stay in business. We also screen a lot of um, Mexico dentists and I've walked into some that are high volume offices that are neglecting infection control standards and uh, I wouldn't want to get my dental work there. So the bottom line, as I mentioned before, if you go find a reputable dentist in Mexico, you'll be covered in terms of safety. Mexico dental offices also tend to be very clean. Even small offices are, are very clean. One of the famous quotes from one of our uh, clients who went to visit one of our partner dentists in Cancun, who he also happens to be a retired medical doctor, and he said, the floor is so clean, you can lick it. In terms of water, uh, they don't use tap water in your mouth. They, they use uh, purified water or distilled water. Number five, there's no recourse if something goes wrong. What happens if something goes wrong? Will your dentist fix it? Can you get your money back? Can you sue your dentist? This is pretty much a big concern for people, especially when they're spending on big treatments that are uh, 10, 20, 30, even $70,000. And this is true for both sides of the border. Could you sue your US dentist? Unfortunately, most malpractice lawyers uh, don't accept dental cases. Why? Because uh, the payoffs are not that big, unfortunately, right? I have a friend of mine who's a malpractice lawyer, and he said it takes the same amount of effort to complete a $20,000 case versus a million dollar case. So, uh, and they get paid uh, based on the payoff, usually, which is about 30 to 40% of the payoff. So, many of them don't think it's worth it. So, could you sue a dentist in Mexico? You could, but, you know, the logistics of it, the distance, uh, makes it hard as well. One important distinction between U.S. dentists and Mexico dentists is that many Mexico dentists provide explicit guarantees on your work. For example, in Deo Dental Network, we ask our dentist to guarantee your work for uh, at least five years. So if something goes wrong, you can always go back and they can repair or redo the work for you for free. Yes, dentistry is not an exact science and something can go wrong. But the important thing is, what is your recourse? What's going to happen? What is the dentist going to do if something goes wrong, right? And I think, again, with a reputable dentist in Mexico, uh, you'll have a slight edge there in terms of uh, getting a recourse if something does go wrong. So hey guys, hopefully this video helped you gain confidence in terms of choosing where to get your dental work done. If you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe to our channel as we will be providing more videos about uh, dentistry in general and dentistry in Mexico in general. If you're also looking to find a good and reputable dentist in Mexico, uh, go to our website, deodental.com, 
and speak to one of our representatives to get good advice on how to get your dental work done in Mexico safely, conveniently, without any issues and hassles. And uh, I'll see you again on our next videos. Thank you.